Hi, this video is in memory of the late Constable Heidi Stevenson, who lost her life in the line of duty. Hi everybody, it's Heather Kay. I've been asked by my brothers and sisters, well one brother, my brother Glenn and my sister Ella, uh, uh, to wear red today in honor of the memory of the uh, police constable Heidi Stevenson who was uh, was shot in the line of duty against a tragedy that is uh, world famous in Nova Scotia right now. And uh, my niece, um, I promised her that I'd take uh, her picture and make a video for her because we were supposed to be part of the parade and the parade um, didn't happen because we have community monitors at all uh, points of the entrance um, on a reservation. So our reserve is monitored for incoming and outgoing traffic. So with the parade uh, reached the end of our reserve and the, and the RCMP decided to go around even though we're all waiting outside expecting. See, Heidi served our community as well. So we're all very, uh, <laughs> We're all choking up. We're all very hurt. And we really wanted the parade to happen. I don't even know why I'm crying. It's just that we feel for everybody who suffered the loss of a loved one. Even anybody who's, who's had um, been a victim, whose family has been victim of violent crimes. Um, we really feel bad about that. Uh, my friend, my friend in Ontario, she's been watching the news, and our Ontario families are worried about us here, but we're fine. But like I said, some people didn't. A lot of people um, got hurt, lost their lives, and so, and so anyway. So we just wanted to say thank you to the RCMP, and and we wanted to list the names of those people who who were murdered uh, recently. So we wanted to um, pay tribute in their memory. So I'm gonna show you a picture of my sister, Ella and her daughter, Alicia, and the posters they worked so hard on that they're gonna display in their windows. So just wanted to say that. So thank you. Thank you, RCMP. And our sincere condolences to the family of Heidi and to the detachment where she worked in Enfield and to all of those victims who lost their lives. I don't know who you are, but we feel, everybody feels so sad and by the loss and we offer our condolences. Hey everybody, it's Heather Kay. I'm outside my home. Um, right now, there's supposed to be a parade for the late Constable Heidi Stevenson. And because our reserve is in, I guess it's semi-lockdown, we have um, security guards or uh, what do they call them? Peacekeepers? Well, community monitors yeah so they're gonna come and show my posters uh, their posters they made anyway so they decide the police have decided not to come through our reserve I guess we're gonna have to have our own um, we're gonna <laughs> are we, we're just loaded and so I'm gonna let them show the posters to you thank you RCMP Heidi never forgotten and all the list of names oh my goodness well I, I went them. through I put John on there twice yeah well, these are all the victims this is the list of the names that so I'm gonna read them to you we have Leisha is that Sean John, Heather, Alana, Emily, Jolene, Aaron, Jamie, Greg, Corey, Gina, Elizabeth, Lillian, Don, Peter, Christian, Tom, Joey, Frank, Joy. And those are the names of the people who, who were killed uh, by the shooter. And so this here is just for us to, to say thank you to the RCMP and, and tell all the families that we love them and we feel so sorry. So Alicia, you got anything to say? No, come on, show your poster again. You can say thank you, RCMP. Thank you. Yeah. And Ella, you got anything yeah, to say? No. Just kind of upset that they didn't come to the reserve. Us ill news have hearts. Yes, we do. So. And uh, Elder Becky Julian has given the RCMP and the family some some wooden flowers for yes. to offer condolences on behalf of the chief and council. So I told my friend Betty I would make uh, this video for her. And so there you go, Betty. I love you. <coughs>
just received update. They're coming through, so I'm going to get a video of that. I'll add it right here. Hey, here's the RCMP. that they came through our community. They first attempted that they weren't going to go. And these are the people who made these lovely signs uh, for the parade. So, so anyway, so um, what is your, what is your say? Nova Scotia Strong. Nova Strong. Yes, so the parade just went by and they also had, and they also had the, um, the police officer that was there. They had the police officer who um, was injured and he was released. Uh, he, he threw a wave at us, so we're happy to see him go by. So that's the end of the parade. And do you guys know if they're coming back this way? I don't know. They anyway. don't look well for yeah, so anyway, uh, my brother um, Stuart is a RCMP constable and he's in the parade. I didn't see him. I didn't know which car he was in, but I'm sure he's seen us. Thanks. Hey, Betty. <laughs> Uh, the RCMP uh, also visit the site in Shibanakati for Heidi, and here's that video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.